Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave, and today I want to talk about a couple of different bond ETFs. In particular, these are TLT and HYG. These are from iShares, and why did I pick these? Well, they have a, a nice little interesting uh, option play with these. Let, let me show you right over here. We got TLT and then we got HYG, but if we add a W to them, they had a buy right strategy, right, that produces a bunch of income. So we'll talk through that, how that might work and how we might utilize these and maybe if they're worthy of our portfolio. So if that is what you're looking for, please stick around. So interest rates have been on the rise for a while now and bond yields have followed. So uh, cash is no longer trash, right? You can keep money in a money market account. It can earn some nice coin for you. You can also look at the two year treasury rates that are at 4.78% and feel pretty good about stuffing some money in there for the short term. Now it looks like inflation is getting pretty sticky and we're gonna stay higher for longer, right? That's what uh, people are saying. We'll see how that pans out, but it might be okay at this time to put some money to work in something like a bond ETF. In the long term, I'm not so sure, but let's take a look at these products and, and see what they look like. So we have four different products here to look through real quickly, and we're gonna start with TLT. These are all from iShares, and this is a 20 plus year treasury bond ETF. If you look at the one year chart, it looks horrible, right? Because we have a rising rate environment, and that's not gonna be kind to bond ETFs like this. But how much more do we have in front of us? How many more rate hikes do we have? So might be a good time to start looking at these a little bit, right? And it might be fun to play with options in these a little bit. So this particular one has an expense ratio of just 0.15%. Again, if you're not familiar with that, that means for every $10,000 you invest, they're gonna take 15 bucks for themselves. This pays out every single month and currently it's yielding about 2.67%. So nothing amazing, but uh, you know, what you're going to expect from something like a 20 year treasury bond ETF. Now, if we take this TLT and we add a W to it, we get the treasury bond buy right strategy ETF. Again, pretty much brand new, but what they've done is they go and they buy in this case, buy means buying the shares, right means selling calls against it. So by doing that, they suddenly take their yield way up, right? We're going up to 9.89%, uh, a sizable increase. And that's not over, even over the case of a, of a full year yet. So by writing these call options, obviously they're turning up the income quite a bit. Uh, but you're also capping your ability to have this thing grow, right? And you're gonna limit your upside potential. So again, we're gonna increase the expense ratio to 0.35%. So 20 basis points, for having them do this for us. So we're gonna look at a way that we can do this ourselves and save those 20 basis points. I know it's not a whole lot of money, but it's also not a whole lot of button clicks if you kinda of wanna do this yourself. So everything's the same here. They're just writing call options against it and collecting that extra income paid out every single month. And again, that's one of the things that attracts people to funds like this. Now, another option for us is to go with the high yield corporate bond ETF from iShares. In this case, it's HYG. In this case, we're gonna have a better yield because it's high yield corporate bonds with a little bit more risk, right? We have an expense ratio here of 0.48%, so we're paying a little bit more. Pays out every single month at a yield of about 5.32%. Again, here's the one year chart. You can take a look at the holdings as well. Now, everything you see here is from Seeking Alpha, and I am a Seeking Alpha affiliate. I'm supposed to mention that. So if you like what you see here, you can check that out. There'll be a link down in the description below. But this is HYG, and again, we can go and we can add the W to it to get the uh, buy right strategy ETF. So again, we were at, uh, what, 5.32%, and in less than a year, this is showing a yield of 10.2%. We'd have to see what the full year yield would look like. But again, we go up about 20 basis points to an expense ratio of 0.69% if we wanna pay them to do it for us. And, uh, you know, that's what you have to decide. Do you wanna buy something like HYGW and pay for that? Or would you like to go out and do your own option strategy, have a little more flexibility, but you have to manage it yourself. Now, I like to do that when I see products like this, I probably would never buy either one of these because I would do it myself. So now I'm gonna show you exactly what that would look like on Fidelity. Okay, so let's set up this trade with HYG. This is the option chain. In this case, I'm using Fidelity, so where I do a lot of my option trading myself. Keying in on March 10th, 17th, or 24th. In this case, probably keying in on the 17th, which is three weeks out. That's what I'm picking as my expiration. HYG actually has pretty good volume and open interest on, on some of these different strike prices, so you can see that. And I'm gonna set this up as a put. I've explained why, so uh, 
understand why I'm doing that, but uh, you can see that $72 strike price here for uh, out 21 days from today's date, which is uh, 224 of 23. Quite a bit of open interest, decent volume. Same with the $73 strike. That's probably what I'm looking at. What uh, this delta of about 0.35, uh, paying about 52 bucks. So, you know, take your time, get used to looking at option chains like this and picking out uh, the ones with the higher volumes and the one that uh, kind of meets your criteria for as far as your return for your investment and time that you're gonna put into this. Now, this is just gonna be 50 bucks. This is just one contract that I'm gonna show you today, but of course you can do two or 10 or 20, whatever uh, works best for you. But if we jump over and set this trade up, you can see that here, I've kind of kind of already put it in, uh, in place here. So we've got HYG, $74.10, sell to open one put contract, March 17th, again, out 21 days from now, and I'm picking that $73 strike price. I put in a limit order at $52, or 52 cents in this case, times 100. Midpoint's 54, bid is 51. So I'm not being too greedy. You guys gotta make a little bit of money, right? So I'm gonna preview that order. I'm going to place that order. And uh, we can see that it's filled already. We're off to the races. So just kind of going through this, if you're not familiar with how this uh, works, uh, that's how you would set it up here on Fidelity. So I ported that information from that trade over to my cash secured put calculator. And this is a freebie to download and play around with it. I use this to illustrate trades like this, especially for people that are new to options. I kind of want to give them a, a baseline to understand this kind of information. So that's why I do it this way. Here's the date, number of contracts. This is HYG and I'm making HYGW. And we're doing it out three weeks from now, which is 317 to 23. And there's the stock price currently of $74.14. And I decided to sell a put, and I forgot to explain why I put, picked a put over selling a call or doing a buy right strategy. Well, let me explain that. So I'm sitting right now in cash uh, in a money market account at Fidelity primarily, and that's earning 4.2%. That's pretty darn good. That means when I sell a put and collect premium, it's not affecting my cash balance and I'm actually collecting that premium along the way. So I'm kind of double dipping and uh, not putting anything at risk and waiting for this price to fall even further and pick it up at that price. In this case, that strike price is 73. But whether you do a TLT or this HYG, uh, that would probably be my approach right now because uh, I'm getting a lot in my, in the, in the, sitting there in cash. So that's my reasoning. Now, this is only 1.5% from the current price of $74.14 to get down to my strike price. But if it starts to approach that strike price, since we're only out three weeks, I will probably roll it out another three weeks from there, further out, or even four, and try to pick it up at a 72 and a half or 72. I like to buy it lower. You know, why ever touch the thing if I don't have to? But if it ever does get put to me at one of those low, low prices, I know that I'm also going to be getting that distribution yield that it offers for these corporate bonds. So I feel pretty good. Now, I'm not collecting a huge amount, $51.31 after fees. So just a little bit, putting that in my pocket. My collateral for this trade is $7,300. So I'm holding this for 21 days, and that I realize a 12.22% annualized return. If I take these 21 days and expand that out to 365 days, if I continue to do this all year long, that would be my return. 12.22%. So that's why I'm doing this type of trade over a 21 day period. And I'll continue to look for opportunities in something like HYG. So down here at the bottom, if you're new to this, again, you can look at it in some different ways. This is just to kind of illustrate how you could do these trades, right? Um, how it might play out. Uh, so first one is the stock goes above the strike price. In this case, if it expires above the strike price, it's gonna just expire naturally, right? So that's where I keep my 51 and 31 dollars and nothing else happens, which represents a 12.22 percent annualized return or 0.7 percent over 21 days. Now, if the stock price, uh, let's say it goes to, let's see, we're at 74 dollars. Let's say it goes to uh, 72 dollars. In this case, it's illustrating that I lost 100 bucks, but I also collected 51 dollars and 31 cents in premium, so I actually lost 48 dollars and 69 cents based on the fact that it's been assigned to me at 73 bucks. Okay, so in that case, I've lost money. Um, in that scenario, you know, you've, you've lost money. Now the break even point for this will be 72.49. So that's basically our strike price minus the premium that we collected. So that's kind of the illustration of the, of the trade. So 
yeah, it's not a glamorous one by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a good way to get started if you're l looking for something like that in a bond ETF yeah, of this variety. So would I buy something like HYGW or TLT? W and the answer is no I probably would not I'd rather manage this type of position myself knowing that I've got experience with it and feel comfortable uh, selling out of the money puts and calls rolling out options and doing some simple things like that where I can play the wheel strategy on these and uh, have better control now if you're somebody that doesn't want to mess with options at all and you want to add that W to your portfolio eh, I don't know it's uh, I guess it's okay I, I don't own the QYLDs or the RYLDs, but I do own JEPI because I like some of that stuff. I like DIVO. There's a couple products that I like that we've talked about, uh, but, but but this one wouldn't be for me with the W. Uh, but with that said, I am going to keep my eye. There's a lot of open interest on these two, and that attracts me. So uh, looking for ways that I can creatively use this in my own portfolio, I will be doing that. Now, if you have any questions on any of this, please ask down below. I really appreciate you watching. Have a great night. Take care. Whoop.